Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bouncing lyric ball effect in Adobe After Effects. So I've opened up a new composition here, 1920 by 1080. You can make yours whatever size and settings you need. And just for example, I've just got a fun clip of some flamingos in the background because who doesn't like flamingos to look at? And I've also dragged on my composition just a PNG of a smiley face. This is our bouncing lyric ball that we could use. You could make this whatever you want, a letter, a graphic, a logo, a cutout of somebody's head, whatever. And now I'm going to create a new text by grabbing my horizontal type text tool and typing out the first line of my lyrics. So, hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho. Cool. Now I'm going to just adjust the size of this in the character and paragraph panel just so it fits in my composition. Move it over to where I want it. I'm gonna make sure that my ball layer is on top of all my text layers just in case it overlaps. Now how can we get this graphic to animate without having to painstakingly keyframe the position and scale hand by hand? Well in After Effects, luckily for us, there's a cool tool called the Motion Sketch tool. And this allows us to capture movement that's made on our mouse and turns it into keyframes for us. So for example, if I begin the smiley face off the screen and I hit start capture, I can do, hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho. That might sound funny and maybe I messed up a little bit, but it automatically creates keyframes that bounce through on the movement of your wrist. So you see it created a ton of these keyframes here and when I play it back, you automatically get that bouncing ball. Now obviously it's not perfect because I wasn't able to see, I could try this over a couple times, delete these keyframes and capture over and over until I want. And there's also some settings that can adjust like capture speed and the smoothing of the keyframes. So let's check the background on this time. Let's delete all those and try again with the background on. So, hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho. Cool, that should be pretty accurate, bounces per word per syllable. And since we checked background on, it gave us a better look to work with. So now when I play, you see it goes bounce, 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 bounce. And actually one thing I'm gonna do, cause I don't like how low it's touching on the letters, is highlight all of our keyframes because that's the center, I forgot, not the bottom, and move them all up by dragging this line. This way they kind of just touch on the bottom a little bit better. So that looks like a pretty good lyric ball for me. Obviously you can record over as many times as you want. Now the next step is highlighting, making these words highlight on each step, and there's many different ways that you could do this, I suppose. But for me, this will be a little bit more tedious. Um, a quick one that you can do, it's kind of like cheating, is just using a color fill. So if I go to the effects, animation presets, text, and use fill and stroke, we can do a fill color wipe, drag that onto the text, and just space these keyframes out so it goes from one color to the next. It'll give you a pretty good general look. So range selector, start end, I'll drag this keyframe all the way to the end so it matches up and you can pick the start color and the fill color. So the start color will make it black and the fill color will make it a bright flamingo pink. So now when I press play, they'll say, hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and it fills in by the end. Now, another way that you can do this if you want to get more tedious is literally keyframing word by word so that they pop up syllable by syllable if you really wanted to do that. And you could just do keyframes for every single syllable from zero to 100. Rather than linear keyframes, you can make them hold type keyframes. But I'm gonna leave it at that for this example. You could go on and create as many text layers as you want. When you're working on the next lines, you wanna make sure that you start after. So you can either create a whole new PNG layer or just adjust your working area so that it starts after. You can see in the motion sketch panel, we're now starting at four seconds, almost five seconds. And then when I start capture, it'll do the same thing. 
So that'll create new keyframes where we want them. We can move those up a little bit too. And if I want to get rid of that part where it tries to go all the way from the right to the left, that little typewriter reset that's going on, I can go in those keyframes specifically, this one to two, and change them to hold keyframes. So if I zoom all the way in here, this section where it's trying to go all the way from the right back to a reset, I can highlight those and set them to hold keyframes. That'll make sure that they don't move and they just start again. So that's a starting workflow on how to create bouncing ball type of lyric animation videos in Adobe After Effects. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like below, subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my future videos, and check out the playlist for more After Effects and other video editing tutorials on my channel. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Justin OD Show, that's the best place to reach out to me. Definitely recommend it. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.